Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to do an inter a little introductory operational video on our model CB227. The CB227 is a very good sewing machine for sewing light to medium weight materials. It can be used for things like wallets, purses, handbags, portfolio covers. You can use it on totes. It's also good for upholstery leather. You can also use it on upholstery fabrics. It's a good machine for sewing uh, lighter weight um, vinyl, leather, and fabric materials. Uh, you can use it, for instance, on sewing uh, bimini tops for boats. You can use it um, for sewing upholstery for chairs, uh, both vinyl and leather, as well as fabric. Uh, the machine does feature a compound feed walking foot design, making it an ideal machine for sewing hard to feed materials and also climbing up over multiple layers of materials and then you can also sew multiple layers of slippery materials as well. The machine can also be used in lightweight nylon applications. Uh, you can also use it uh, as for uh, pet products and lightweight horse tack as well. The machine will handle anything from a size 46 thread all the way up to a 138 thread. So you can use, for instance, a 46, a 69, a 92, a 99, or a 138 size thread with this machine. It does feature a top-loading bobbin so that uh, this slide plate uh, slides off to the right-hand side and then the bobbin drops down in from the top side of the sewing machine allowing for convenient bobbin changes. Um, and again, the compound feed design of this machine with a, with a needle feed, a walking foot, and a feed dog make it very ideal for sewing a multitude of uh, lightweight to medium weight materials. So one other nice hallmark for this machine is that it does uh, carry or that it does utilize very very common parts that are available on the open market it uses Singer 111 style presser feet the tension assembly for this machine is very is identical to what would be on for instance a console 206 uh, so again these uh, these machines use a lot of different parts that are available in the market and parts are incredibly cheap for this machine replacement parts so it does make it an ideal choice for somebody who's interested in purchasing a sewing machine with low operating cost over a period of time uh, this machine is identical to some of the other machines that are in the markets and that's another nice hallmark feature that you can purchase parts for this machine just about anywhere. Um, again, this machine has been in the market for a number of years, uh, marketed by a number of different manufacturers. However, I think you will find our pricing on this machine to be very affordable and very competitive with regard to uh, uh, the pricing offered by other suppliers for this machine. So we're going to go ahead and do a demonstrational video now on the 227 and we're going to be sewing through two layers of approximately three to four ounce upholstery leather. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in the machine and I'll show you how it performs. We're using a size 138 in this machine, um, which is a relatively heavy thread for it. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate on how the machine performs with this 138 thread. <coughs> So we're using our variable speed DC servo motor as well as our speed reducer unit on this machine and uh, this, this is a very good combination because it gives you, <coughs> excuse me, it gives you an incredible amount of punching power but then it also slows the machine down and makes it, <coughs> it, makes it very manageable. So you'll see that uh, as I depress on the pedal very, very lightly the machine takes off at a slow rate of speed and then I can also increase the speed um, up to whatever the maximum motor setting is. And you can run this machine at a much higher speed because, again, we do have our variable speed DC servo motors that we use on this machine. So you can run it at a much higher rate of speed if you want to. Um, but, you know, right now, if you're interested in very slow, very controllable stitching, you're a lot better off to run it at a slower speed. So I'm just progressing down the side of this piece. I'm going to trim off my top and my bobbin threads here just to make it a little bit easier to sew. So we're just going to go ahead and sew. I'm going to go ahead and put it up to about 1,000 RPM on the motor just by pressing the pedal all the way down. And then you can see that it's performing very well at, at that high rate of speed also. So I'll show you the stitch sample after we extract it out of the machine. And one other nice feature about this machine is that it does feature a compound feed walking foot design with a needle feed, a walking foot, and a feed dog. So you do, again, um, achieve a high degree of uh, precision with regard to your stitching. So I'm going to go ahead and put the machine in reverse now so that you can see how it performs. Normally on leather, you'll back up one or two stitches in reverse. And one nice feature about the compound feed design of this machine is that it will match the stitch hole for hole um, and stitch for stitch in reverse. 
which makes it very, very nice when you're trying to sew leather. So you can see on the sample piece that I did here, and I'll see if our camera can pan in just a little bit so they can see it. You'll see that we have very even stitching, very evenly spaced stitching. And again, this is a size 138 thread, which is normally what you would see on a lot of automobile upholstery interiors that are made out of leather. I'll flip the back side of the piece over so that you can see the stitching looks very, very good on the back side as well. So again, the stitching is very, very evenly spaced throughout. And you'll notice where I went into the reverse stitch right here, you'll see that you, you virtually can't tell that, that um, the machine was placed into reverse. The stitches match almost perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and try the machine now. And we had, we had did two layers of upholstery leather there. So we're going to try the machine now on four layers of upholstery leather to give you a rough idea. This is a little bit different leather than what was in the machine, but you're still dealing with approximately, oh, maybe 12 to 14 ounces of leather here once you stack all the layers together. So I'm going to just snug up on my thread tensions a little bit because we're sewing through a thicker piece of leather here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the leather in the machine and then you can just drop the presser foot down onto the leather and then uh, progress with your sewing. And I'm going to go ahead and make a turn here. And then again, another turn. Go ahead and trim my threads off here as well. Go ahead and make another turn here. And again, you can sew this at a relatively high rate of speed also. Make another turn. So we backed up two stitches in reverse so you can get an idea for what the reverse stitch looks like through four layers of leather. So you can see from the sample, again, this is four layers of upholstery leather, I don't know, probably 12 to 14 ounces total thickness, and again with a size 138 thread, but you can see that the stitching looks very, very even throughout the sample. Stitching on the back side again looks very even throughout the sample. Uh, here was where I went into reverse, and so you can see that the reverse stitch, are very, the reverse stitch is very, very evenly spaced. So uh, again, a good quality sewing machine with a compound feed mechanism ensures that you're going to have evenly spaced stitches when you sew over a, multi uh, a multitude of different types of materials. So if you have any additional questions on the Cowboy CB227, you can feel free to contact me, Ryan Neal, at our USA office. And I can be reached at 330-692-1418. Uh,